the Body Effects by Rogue. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today, I, I decided to write up a program to get me back in shape. I know, well, I'm still in shape regardless. Shape does not have anything to do with your size. So, let me clear that. Um, but to lose weight, um, to get more toned, because I like the look of, for me, 145, 150. Right now, I'm standing at 180, and I can feel it, and this is heavy for me, and whew, this quarantine, we're in quarantine 2020, and that is no excuse. And I know some of us are gym rats because I'm a gym rat and we're weightlifting, go happy type of people. Um, so when all of that is taken away from us, it puts us in that uncomfortable, and I mean uncomfortable zone where like, like a deer in headlights, like what in the world am I supposed to do now? And it's funny because even us gym rats will have weights. I have weights. I have equipment at home to actually do the workout. But I actually love going to the gym. I love seeing people. I love being around other gym people. Um, even if it's early in the morning and there's nobody there, I just love that whole gym atmosphere. And I know when you're at home, you're like, I see a whole lot of other stuff I could do, like maybe relax, take this time out to relax and reflect. That's good too, but don't get so comfortable in that, that you forget to get up and do some strength training, cardio, and get the moving. So anyway, I'm babbling on, enough of that. If you wanna to continue to watch and work out with me on this one, quarantine, Get your mind right, get your body right, because what affects the mind affects the body. Keep watching and let's go. Okay, let's get ready. We're going to start with a warm up and a strength training exercise for circuit one. So make sure you have some dumbbells or some water bottles. I have like five different sets of weights i think eight tens 15 and 20 four sets of weights sorry and we're only going to do this one time so if you got to pause the video to finish your set then do so but we're going to start off with these jumping jacks you got 25 jumping jacks 25 high knees this is your warm-up. Make sure you breathe in your nose and out your mouth. Keep pushing. Butt kicks are next. Butt kicks are for 25 too. 25 on the butt kicks. Got to get that heart rate up, that blood pumping. Squat jumps. Here we go. 25 squat jumps. Light landing, please. And push that butt back. Keep that core tight. Twenty-five. March it out. We're not done yet. Here we go. We're gonna reach over, nice and high. Twenty-five on each side. Once we're done with that, then we're going to take it across the body. Twenty-five. 
All right, time for these weights. So I'm gonna show the movement. Um, my first set is with eight pound dumbbells. So if you only have water bottles or canned foods, the rep count is 25 for all of them. But if you have multiple weights like I do, then your rep count will go down. So your first set is 25. Make sure your back is flat. You wanna do a deadlift into a hammer curl with a squat. like that there you go okay so then my second set I went up in weight so I have a 10 pounder 10 pounds 20 reps I'm showing a 10 rep count here so if you got to pause the video please do so I have already done this this is my second time I do apologize I didn't want the video to be too long, but I also didn't think about recording until I was done. It was so much of a great workout. There you go. Flat back, elbow to knee, hammer curl. Make sure that core is tight. My next set of dumbbells are 15 pounds. My goal is to go up in weight and to do this at least three times a week. Let me know how you like this video and if you want to continue to do this workout with me three times a week. I'm thinking Mondays and Wednesday and Fridays and I will be adding on to the weight training portion or the strength training I should say my next set of dumbbells were 20 pounds I was really starting to feel it by now I hope you are too. Stay with me. Now, if you only have water bottles, that's good. Soap detergent works well. This last set, 10 reps. Work at your own pace. But this helps you to stay mobile, healthy, and strong. This quarantine type of lifestyle is not healthy just sitting on the sofa. And yes, I believe in yoga and meditation too. But trust me when I tell you, you need to incorporate some type of strength training. There we go. Woo! I was sweating, boy. I tell you, we rely so much on the gym and so much on, on the machine or other people to help motivate us. We need to find our own self-motivation to keep us going. Because I tell you, what affects the mind affects the body. Okay, that's enough of that. Put that down. Grab some water if you need to. Because circuit number two. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I almost forgot I did sit-ups. We got 30 sit-ups. Make sure you lift with that core and not your neck, okay? If you need to put your feet underneath the sofa or somewhere where you can hold your toes down, then do so, but do not give up, okay? Do not give up at all. Next one is shoulder tap planks. We got a total of 20, 10 on each arm. Make sure you have a flat back. There we go. All right, so now break. Whew. All right, here we go. Circuit two, cardio and core and some balance. And I'm doing this all the way with you. We're gonna go side to side. Come on, side to side and clap. Side to side. We got 20 here. You can eat, and then we are gonna start jogging and marching. Okay? Side to side. Yes. All right, get your mind ready. Fast feet, side hop is next. Side hop, fast feet, side hop, fast feet, side hop, fast feet, come on. One, two, three, four, side hop. One, two, three, four, side hop. So the four count, then a side hop. Okay? Keep moving. I'm with you. I'll let you know when we switching up. Side hop and fast feet. Come on. Gotta learn that balance. Got to push through, side hop, fast feet, four, three, two, one, come on, four, three, two, one, Woo. Push through, not done yet, keep moving, I'm with you. Here we go, now break, move those arms. Kind of push through, do not stop moving, okay? Because the next ones are high knees, squat jump in a wide stance. Get your mind ready. We're here to burn some fat, okay? This is just your break time, but you want to still have some type of active rest. You hear? High knees, let's go. And then squat jack. There you go, four times, two, three. Four, I'm sorry, eight times, four, three, two, one. Squat and high knees for eight, eight, seven, six, five, then four. Squat jacks, oh goodness, I'm lost. Stay with me. I know it's eight squat jacks and eight high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squat jacks. Three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now high knees. Squat jacks. Come on, stay with me, squat jacks. This is my first time doing a class via video. Whew, take a break. Just take a break. Because Next one is fast feet, then punch. Fast feet, punch. Let's go. Two, three, four. Fast feet, then punch. Okay, so here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fast feet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fast feet. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Punch, punch, punch. Yes. Get ready. Fast feet. Yes. Here we go. Stay with me. Punch, punch. Come on, punch. Across the chest. Fast feet. Yes. Push. Fast feet. 
punch, punch, punch. Come on. Four fast feet. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Fast feet. Let's go. Now stretch. Here we go. Break. Ooh. Next one is side hops. Yes. Now, I don't know how big your space is, but it's either four across one way, then four the other way, or one across or two across. Okay. But side hop is the key and you want to make it even on both sides. Okay. So keep side hopping with me. Land lightly. Push through, side hop. So you can either do four one way, two one way, and then repeat on the other side, or just you can do single hide hops, side to side. There you go. Push through to keep that core tight. All right, break. Now we're going to do some floor touches. Get your mind ready. Side hop floor touches, what I'm calling it. Okay. So there you go. Remember the happy feet? That's pretty much what it is, but we're touching the floor. Reach across to the opposite toe. Working that core, those obliques. Side hop, touch the floor. Stay with me. Come on, push through. Almost there. Try to make it high each time. Reach all the way up and twist that body. There we go. Come on, side hop. Touch the floor, break. Nope, high. You thought there was a break? Not yet. Come on, we still got some in us. Work with me, side hop, touch the floor. Side hop, touch the floor. Come on, push through. Whew. Now break. Okay. Get our minds ready for this modified push-ups. Four reps and then mountain climbers for eight. I know. My floor is wet. I don't know how you're doing, but I was sweating. Two, three, four. Let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push, jump in, back down. So it's like a burpee into a, a modified push up. And then jump up into that mountain climber. We have eight mountain climbers. And then four push ups. Stand back up. Back down. Let's try this again. You're almost there. This should be your last one. Three sets. Now nah, four. Let's make it four. Okay. Four push ups. Four sets. Woo! I tell you, my shoulders are like, I'm done. Okay, take a break. We got high knee march next. I was stretching here. Whew. This quarantine, I tell you. All right. I miss all of you all. So high knee march. And we're going to do... After this, we'll break. But let's keep high knee marching. Or make sure that core is tight. And you want a wide stance. And move those elbows. This is your cardio. You want to sweat. And if you can get those high knees even higher, do so. But do not stop moving. I tell you, it's hard to be a machine. We get so comfortable with the treadmill or the elliptical moving us. That we forgot to move our own body. So it's time to move. And I appreciate you working out with me this morning or this evening or this afternoon. 
Let me know what time of day you do your exercises. I do mine early in the morning. I'm a morning person. All right, break. Next one is jump and kick. Now I'll show you, then join in. I'm just trying to get my mind ready. Get my mind together. All right, here we go. Jump, kick. There we go. Remember those back in the day when we were young? Then we got squat jumps, okay? Just small ones. Jump, kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then squat jumps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then kicks. Here we go. We got eight and eight. Four, five. Yep. Eight, kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then kick. This is modified. So if you're not a jump kicker, then and if you the jumps, squat jumps are too hard. This march in place, but not, but do not, do not stop moving. It's eight and eight. Come on, push through. Work at your own pace. Cause I know I am. break now this next exercise I had to pull out the mat for me because my floor was wet from the sweat I tell you so we're going to do some high jumps and the goal is to jump as high as you can so I was trying to reach for the ceiling see there you go keep jumping Jump with me. Come on, let's go. No, there's not a certain amount of reps. We're going by time. And don't worry. You don't need a time clock because I'll let you know when to break. Keep jumping. Push through. I'm like, whoo, I know. Stay with me. I'm going to get this quarantine life together and I'm going to push through and you are too. Come on. We're going to get this done. Jump, 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 jump. Come on. Stay there. Stay there. After we finish this, we're going to write down our notes because I tell you, I can do better than this and so can you. Come on, stay with me, jump, jump. Is that... Hold up, that's break. Now we're going happy feet, kind of a method, side to side from the mat. Kind of hop over, tap the floor. There we go. Reach, 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 reach push through keep going happy feet tap that floor Woo. break let's get that mind together because we got some we got some punches in one leg jump so one leg jump for eight here we go Eight on each leg. Keep going. After a while, I just started to kick. Because we got to keep it going. There we go. Kick. Kick. Break. Jumping jacks. We're about to cool this down, I tell you. Jumping jacks. Let's jump. Twist. The key here is to keep moving. Great job. Great job. Break. Get some water. I got my pre-workout. 
That's what I'm drinking. By True Supplements. I'll put the link down below. Next move is punch. 180 jump. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then jump, twist. There you go. Twist. Come on, eight punches. And then jump and twist. Don't stop, not yet. Keep going, keep going. Whew. Break. Get your mind together. We got standing knee crunches. This is your stance. Single leg standing knee crunch. 20 is the rep count. Okay, make sure you crunch with that core. Standing knee crunch for 20. Once you finish with the 20, we're going to hold it and pulse it for 20. Talking about a real balance challenger here there you go this is the pulse part see just like that you want to really concentrate on using that core and then here's the kicker after you finish that 20 you want to hold the leg up and kick okay I haven't finished my 20 pulses yet. Okay, so kick. There you go. Kick, kick, kick on one leg. We have 15 of the kicks. So you want the goal is to hold your leg up as high as you can and kick. I'll tell you that burns. All right, next side. Remember, 20. Crunch, crunch. Crunch, we got 20. Stay with me. Now, pulsate for 20. I had to keep looking in the mirror for my, my, my form here just to make sure I'm not losing form and I'm not teaching you wrong. I haven't taught a class in so long. Personal training and nursing is basically what I do. But I'm looking forward to teaching more classes so let me know how you like this and thank you for working out with me I tell you all right don't forget about those kicks make sure you hold that leg up high and kick we got 15 of them I tell you this burns You get so connected with the weights and the gym atmosphere, you forget. All right, so now we got side, elbow to knee crunches. Working those obliques. Okay. There's 18 on each side. So you elbow to knee, stay on one side until you finish it, and then switch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got eight more, right? Stay with me. Come on. There we go. Good job. All right, sumo squats. Working those shoulders. Hold that squat and we got shoulder movement. So arms are straight out to the side and you're just gonna move them up and down. Now I did this on a timer. So I'll let you know when it switches. There's times I took a break cause this really burned my shoulders and I have shoulder issues, but this helps strengthening your shoulders so do not by all means give up then we also do forward shoulders here we go forward touch the hands arms straight out to the side and then straight out into the front of you okay so if you have shoulder problems like i do you want to really do this this will help strengthen them this will help heal them this will help get them back into mobile and then we go above our head here we go up and reach up and reach and try to hold that sumo squat come on i tell you i need to do better we need to do better stay with me i'm not done yet come on yep see i'm not done you're not done I'm trying to get my mind right now we got circles i'm gonna circle back try to get like 20 to 30 small circles hold that sumo squat and then we're gonna go forward yep forward circles around 20 to 30 reps i'm like whew, what in the world i gotta do better this is not good rogue not good that's okay when we come out of quarantine it's gonna be on and popping no excuses we're gonna get better together come on push through push through Shake it out. All right, let's stretch. Lock your fingers right behind your back and pull your shoulders down. Then throw your head back. That way we can stretch. It's very important that you stretch, especially after your workout, not before but after when your muscles are all warmed up reach over and pull your neck or like pull your head to the side that way we stretch out the neck arms up squat down press through your knees get that groin stretch Hips up. Now we're going to do side stretch. Runner stretch. Drop the knee. Fall back onto your heels so you can stretch out those hamstrings. Now... Slowly come back into that runner stretch. Bring your arm over. Hips up and walk your hands over to the other side into a runner stretch. 
and then fall back onto your heel and stretch out that hamstring. Make sure you breathe through your nose and out your mouth. Up into a runner stretch. Walk your hands to the front. Let your body fall over. Kind of wave side to side and roll up. Twist, twist. Use your shoulders to twist the side to side. Breathe in and blow out. I just feel like stretching some more here. So if you need extra stretching like I do, this is a good one. I love stretching my inner thighs waving my hips side to side walk your hands to the right or left then to the other side roll up back into this runner stretch again this one i'm gonna change it up just a tad bit i want both your hands on right beside your foot just to get more of a stretch and more of a flat back. Okay. Then kind of come up and straighten out here. Hamstring stretch. And walk your hands over. Push those hips back. Walk your hands over to the other side. And then we're gonna drop down into that runner stretch. Place your hands right in front of you. And then we're gonna lift up one side, one arm, the arm closest to the leg. So in this case for me, the right arm once I get my balance together there you go right arm hold that stretch and walk up so that way you stretch out the hamstrings walk to the middle and then roll up make sure you breathe lean back we got some circles here in our hips drop back down to the center roll up switch sides